you dare to dream really do come true someday i wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that's Hi, I'm Mark Locke with the Mimi Division student, and congratulations to my fellow 2020 graduates. None of us expected that we would not graduate in person at our beautiful campus this May, and be in the times that we're now in. While we face some uncertainties in society and going forward, don't let this stop your ambitions to pursue the legal profession. If anything, look for new opportunities that arise that were not in your original thoughts. As we leave our studies here, remember that we are still learning. Life is always a process of education. Law school has taught us many things, and I want you to take some foundational skills with you as you go out into the profession. First is to listen. Understand what others are saying, what peers are advising, and what courts are saying. This will help you advocate your position. Preserve. Times of societal stress can put pressure on the legal system. Protect and preserve that system even in stressful times and support those that need access to it. Respect. We must remember to respect those we interact with, even in adversarial situations. Without respect, we can lose the ability to listen and preserve our system of law. Thank you to the Evening Division to allow me to share some brief comments with you remotely today. And I hope we will be together again in person this year to celebrate our success. Congratulations. Hey everyone. So I was asked to give a little teaser of my graduation speech and I thought I'd say this instead. We've been told a lot about how these are really difficult times and uh, how we're going to face a lot of challenges uh, in the immediate future, but I want to highlight all the obstacles we've really faced over the last three years, whether it's coming into law school not knowing anyone, uh, trying to drink legal knowledge through a fire hose our 1L year, uh, going to working through our first, uh, first legal internship, uh, doing clinics, having to do this stupid thing uh, and throughout that we've been able to overcome what we've been able to do I was nervous going into those situations would I be good enough would I fail uh, but it turns out we got through those um, this is going to be just another obstacle in life and we'll make it through these tough times too uh, as we end the semester make sure to take care of yourself and take a, take care of each other Hi everyone, this is Elvis, a representative from the LLM students. I'm here to give you just a perspective of what I would have delivered at the commencement, which was unfortunately truncated by this corona pandemic. We are all fighting. I was so much excited to come to contact with great professors who have achieved so much in terms of their legal practice and yet were very humble. I think that's a driving force that actually encourages me. I love to be with them. I mean, I'm going to miss all of them. My classmates were very awesome, very good people from different cultural backgrounds they're very helpful we spoke to each other sometimes they patted on our back and told us hey you did well i think that was a good encouragement my family were also amazing i mean it's been 
through difficult times, but hey, we made it. I quite remember I had to go and sit by my wife to have our last baby, so I, right after that delivery, I had to rush back to campus to write an exam. That was the worst experience in my life, and guess what? I had a B, but hey, I think that was the best thing I could have done for myself. Thank you very much, everyone, and we'll see ourselves later. Hey, UConn Law School graduates, uh, congratulations. I'm so sorry that we are not all able to do this in person. I was so honored to be asked to be the graduation speaker, um, and it would have meant a lot to me uh, to be there with all of you. Uh, both my wife, Kathy, and I uh, graduated from UConn Law School. We met there, uh, and uh, the campus, uh, the, um, the school, uh, and the faculty mean a lot to us. Uh, so congratulations on what is uh, an incredible achievement. Uh, I'm sorry that you are being released into the legal profession at such uh, a uh, turbulent and anxious time, uh, but I know that the education that you received at one of the country's preeminent public law schools is going to put you in a position to succeed. Uh, so stay safe, uh, be well, and congratulations. Congratulations, UConn Law Class of 2020. Your hard work has paid off. I know some of you may be concerned about this wonderful event happening during these troubling times. But if you think about it, it really highlights the role of lawyers. The rule of law is the very fabric that holds our society together. And we as lawyers are the tailors of that cloth, with the moral, legal, and ethical obligation to mend any tear that may occur. There's a lot of work to do in the future. And I'm thankful and very grateful that you will be with us to help get it done. Good luck, Class of 2020. Greetings to the remarkable UConn Class of 2020. I speak on behalf of the entire appellate court when I say congratulations, best wishes, and well done. It is my great pleasure to congratulate you on this amazing achievement. You have toiled for three years and you are now ready to join the ranks of those who sustain the rule of law. Uh, you are ready to make contributions to our state, our nation, and our world. And I wish you great good luck on this day, which you will remember always. Take care. Um, UConn Law, class of 2020, congratulations. You guys have come a long way. I'm sorry that we can't do an in-person ceremony this year, but I hope to greet all of you at some point when we're able and just encourage you, please go out there, serve your communities, use the law as an instrument for good. If you wanna come work for the Office of the Attorney General, you can reach out to one of your best alumni, uh, Peggy Chapel, who's the Deputy Attorney General here at the Office of the Attorney General. Congratulations again. This isn't the commencement celebration that any of us envisioned. And yet there is something beautiful in the way we have acted collectively and sacrificed so much to protect each other and the most vulnerable among us. In many ways, the sacrifice is similar to that which you will undertake as lawyers, to give of yourselves, your time, your skill and expertise, and the service of others, and in particular those without access to justice. Congratulations on achieving this milestone. The best is yet ahead, and we are excited to support you and to see all that you will achieve. Welcome to the University of Connecticut Law School Alumni Association. Hello, everyone. and. I have to say, I am so sorry I can't be there with you in person to share these thoughts, but congratulations to you, the UConn Law School Class of 2020. You made it to this day, but what a semester you've been through. The forced isolation, the difficult personal circumstances, the switching to remote learning, and in some cases, the losses of family and friends. But you persevered, and we're so proud of you for it. And especially in these uncertain times that you're entering into, you have to think back and say, when you joined us, you knew it was gonna be difficult, but neither you nor we had any idea how hard it was going to be. And you will have stories to share from this time for the rest of your lives. So we regret finishing this semester without the chance to say goodbye in person, without the traditional ceremonies that mark the completion of a law school career. But we hope you're back to join us and celebrate with us in the future. And until that day, please take good care of yourselves and congratulations. 
Hi, class of 2020. First and foremost, congratulations. I know this isn't necessarily the way you saw your time ending, but that doesn't negate any of the hard work that you all have done to get here. Hi, class of 2020. You're the last class I admitted to UConn Law School, and I was proud of you then, and I'm certainly proud of you now. I um, relish the day that we could all celebrate together. Um, you will enter the fine cadre of UConn Law alums, um, and I'm proud to be in that group with you. I wish you all the best of health, the best of luck, um, and health and happiness to you and your families. I can't wait to see you on the other side. Take care. Hello, class of 2020. Center for Career Development here with some words we wanna share with you. Uh, for that, I'm gonna turn to my our esteemed team member, Mary Beth Delgadio. Hi, everyone. Maybe some words from our friend, Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations. We're proud of you all and we, we remain here for you. Congratulations grads, you made it this far and you have so much more to do. You got this. Uh, my name is Glenn Quinlan. I work in the business office. Uh, this is my sidekick, Benson, and we'd like to say congratulations to the UConn School of Law graduating class of 2020. Congratulations! Hey everyone, it's Gary from the Law School. Just checking in on behalf of the facilities team to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Uh, farewell and good luck in the future. To all of our friends and students in the graduating class, we wish you peace, happiness, success, and remember to breathe, breathe, breathe. You are the next greatest generation. We wish you happiness and health and love. Come back Hi, and see us. High five. You can see us. To the class of 2020 from your graduate and international programs team, Felicitations! Congratulations! Congratulations. 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 Congratul